do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos uh, hello students uh, we are starting a new chapter called impact of jets uh, in this chapter you will come to know uh, what is the force exerted by the water on plates and this chapter uh, will lead you to turbines and then it will lead you to compressors and pumps so it's a very important chapter once you know this chapter you can very easily understand turbines different types of turbines and then different types of compressors and pumps also so this is the chapter which is a base for all those chapters you can say so the chapter is in fact of jets let's uh, see the introduction of it so let's first of all try and understand what is a jet uh, so a jet is nothing but a stream of water or any fluid that is coming out from a pipe so at the end of pipe you have a nozzle <coughs> what does a nozzle does is it increases the velocity of the pipe and with that amount of velocity it will be having a very high amount of kinetic energy and with that kinetic energy if the water or a jet it strikes the plate uh, what it can impart some force on it so it can impart some force on it and it can help it to create rotation or it will help it to move it can help to move so the basis of this uh, impact of jet is nothing but newton second law of motion so on based on that the whole formulas and everything is derived so we'll be looking at different types of plates so if the plates are fixed and the jet is striking if the plate is moving and the jet is striking if the uh, plate is straight uh, or if the plate is curved so there are different uh, varieties in this so we'll be looking at uh, each type and then we'll see what is the force required to move a jet or what is the force that is acting on the plate because of jet so let's see the basis let's see the newton second law and how it affects So we all know F is equal to M A is Newton's second law of motion. Now you can write A as dV by dt, which is acceleration. We all know is nothing but dV by dt. M by dt is nothing but mass flow rate. M is mass, and M by time is mass flow rate. And mass flow rate is nothing but mass uh, that is kg per second you can say and there's one more formula mass flow rate is rho m dot is rho av or you can say rho into q rho is density into the discharge dv is nothing but change in velocity which is v1 minus v2 discharge we all know is nothing but area into velocity So this is nothing but the formula of uh, the force that will be acting on the jet when a, uh, on the plate. I mean, when a jet strikes the plate. So this is the basis of the whole chapter that we are that will be seeing here. Next, uh, we as we can see here, the whole thing is derived from the basis that is the basic equation Newton second law equal to m a, and we finally arrived at the equation uh, rho a v one v one minus v two. Change in velocity is v1 minus v2. v1 v2 is nothing but the velocity of jet before it strikes the plate and after it strikes the plate. So that is how it comes. So that was all about the introduction of the chapter. Next, we'll be moving on to different varieties of plate, fixed plates, and moving plates. So I hope you have understood the introduction. Thank you.